horrible collision. UK ignore China threat. China and UK aircraft carrier face each other, as enter South China Sea. China says it has launched multiple military drills, as the United Kingdom's aircraft carrier HMS Queen Elizabeth enters the South China Sea. It calls the ship's visit colonial. It warns that if it intrudes on Chinese claimed islands and reefs, it will be expelled. Until now, the only nation to directly challenge Beijing's rejected 12 nautical mile sovereignty claims has been the United States. It did so again Thursday, with a destroyer USS Benfold, passing through the troubled Taiwan Strait. But the world is watching to see if London will join the US in crossing such red lines. Sending a warship within 12 miles of Chinese territory is a direct challenge to China's core interests, which might result in misjudgment, the Chinese Communist Party-controlled Global Times warns. Other nations, including Australia, have limited themselves to operating warships in nearby international waters and shipping lanes. Beijing's uptight enough over the idea to talk even tougher than usual. <laughs> Beijing warns, we advise US allies to be particularly cautious, keep a significant distance from China's red lines, and refrain from pushing ahead. If their warships rampantly behave, as the US military does in the South China Sea, they will more likely become an example of China defending its sovereignty and territorial integrity. Beijing-based university think tank South China Sea Probing Initiative, located HMS Queen Elizabeth, and consorts crossing China's arbitrary 9-dash line on Wednesday. China is holding multiple military exercises in sea areas including the Bohe Strait, the Yellow Sea, and the South China Sea, Beijing stated in response to the news. Open source intelligence enthusiasts soon also spotted the Chinese aircraft carrier People's Liberation Army Navy Shandong, operating in the North and South China Sea. Beijing accuses London of grandstanding. So, it's returning the favor. The Chinese People's Liberation Army will stand ready to deal with any improper acts by the UK warships and see their South China Sea tour as a chance for practice, the Communist Party-controlled Global Times warned. Two of the military exercises are in the South China Sea. Both are off Hainan Island and the mainland's Guangdong province, where the People's Liberation Army Navy Shandong was spotted. Just like US warships, that intruded Chinese islands and reefs in the region, if UK vessels do the same, they will also be expelled by the People's Liberation Army. The multinational task force, led by the new aircraft carrier HMS Queen Elizabeth, comprises several Royal Navy escort and support vessels along with the American USS The Sullivan's guided missile destroyer and Royal Netherlands Navy HNLMS Evertsen frigate. Other nations are dipping in and out of the formation as it makes its way through Southeast Asia. The carrier and its escort ships will likely hold exercises in the South China Sea or conduct so-called freedom of navigation operations on Chinese islands and reefs, potentially similar to the HMS Defender destroyers doing in the Black Sea last month, reports Chinese media.
The UK Ministry of Defense has said as much, but Beijing won't let the carrier's presence go unopposed. The People's Liberation Army will closely monitor the UK warship's activities, stand ready to deal with any improper acts, and also see this as a chance for practice and for studying the UK latest warships up close.